mega. Got him. That was so that is a giant five six pounder. Freaking tank bass, dude. All right, you guys, what's up? I'm Life Fishing here. So we're out here looking for bullseye snakehead. I'm out here with Nosa Fishing Cree and Nosa Fishing Logan over there. They already started walking the canal. I'm walking this opposite bank. And uh, we're out here, guys. We're gonna show you the best face to use for snakehead. Today we have a little bit of windy conditions and it's really sunny out. First of all, best conditions to fish for snakehead is on a cloudy day, especially a rainy day. Cause that brings all little lizards and frog stuff out of the grass and they'll sit on the bank and ambush stuff all day. Today it's a little sunny. You can still catch them on top water when it's sunny. Normally what we use is either hollow body frogs or soft frogs, buzz frogs. But what basically we're gonna do is we're gonna see where they're gonna eat. We're gonna try top water first and then probably move to some um, to some buzz baits or spinner baits later. So uh, stay tuned, we can get off here. Mega! Yep. <gasps> yeah, let's go! Five pounder, baby! Yeah! Let's go! Yes! Hell yeah! All right, guys. Just stuck a freaking tank snake right here, guys. Look how we ate that frog. Whole thing gone. Just toasted that frog, dude. Toasted that frog, you guys. At co braid. At at co braid. That th this does that braid kill that snakehead? All right, you guys. There we go. Farang Ball Creations jump frog. Orange. Look at that snake. Freaking mouth on that thing. That's a tank, guys. Guys, that's that's just a monster. The size of this freaking snake. Look at that. The size of that freaking snake. Guys, this thing's so fat. You guys don't even realize how fat this fish is. Guys, this thing is a beast. Oh, there it goes. Gorgeous snake head right there. Freaking tank. Oh, guys, that was awesome. That was my PB snake head right there. Six pound snake head, fattest snake head I've ever seen. Guys, that was sick. On the on the frog. Yep, I got you. Got you guys. I literally see a snake head sitting on the bank right here, guys. Make a long cast. See if he'll eat. Oh no, he didn't want it, guys. Damn. It was a nice snake, about a four or five pounder sitting on the bank right there. I went and casted, but he didn't want the frog. He spooked off of it. No, whenever you whenever you see a snake that does that, it means he's probably been caught before. Snake heads are extremely extremely aggressive. They're an invasive species down here in South Florida, and they'll eat just about anything that gets their freaking mouth on. So if you find a snake that doesn't eat, that means he either sees you or he just he's either been caught before or he's just not feeding. That guy was facing completely the other direction from me. He was sitting right here in this little pocket between these two patches, tail right here, head right here, facing down the canal. I was up here and cast it down right in front of his face and brought it like almost at like a cross direction angle right past his field of view. He saw it, he just didn't want it. He turned around and swam right out deep. But pretty much guys, if you see a snakehead, hopefully it's not too late. Like what you guys want to do is you guys pretty much just want to stay as far away from him as possible. Because normally, especially in these areas around Broward, snakeheads have become so popular of a game fish that a lot, a lot, a lot of people fish for them. So a lot of these places, people, you know, they catch snakehead obviously. So a lot of the snakehead are gonna be pretty spooky. So pretty much what you're gonna to wanna to do is like, something like a wacky color, like what I'm throwing right now. This is a um, Farang Ba Creations um, jump frog. And I mean, look at this. It's freaking like, literally like, it's like, it's like chartreuse orange. It's like neon orange with a little yellow crazy, you know, just tail. Like it's just, it's just wacky. But the thing is that what it, what it does is it catches their attention. They see that thing all flashy and crazy on the top of the water and that just pisses them off. Cool about this jump frog, one thing they added that I literally just realized it's really cool. So I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro, but there's like, there's a little cup right by the nose of this jump frog. And it's like a little indentation right there they made. What that's for is that so that when you reel it, it makes a little splash, see that? And it makes this amazing like little natural little splash sound. It imitates the sound of like a buzz frog. Oh, we're gonna get back out there. We're gonna walk this bank, we're probably gonna move spots. So I'll get back to you guys. Look at him. He's eating the rod tip. Oh. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. Dude, he's eating the rod tip. Did you see that? Oh my God. Dude, you... oh my God. Dude, come on, come on. On the jump frog guys, figure eight. Figure eight, nice peacock. Bring it right over his head. Right over his head. Line up, keep your line up. Got him. That was so cool. That was so cool, Logan. Beautiful sight fish job, dude. Nice 
beautiful nice sight fish job, dude. Did you get that on camera? Yep, I got that all on camera. Nice snake, dude. Dude, literally sight fished it. No, it's not your PB. No. That one was bigger. Nice, nice dude. Nice sight fish, dude. That was dope. Oh, dude, that's a fatty. Yeah, oh, he inhaled it. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Nice, got him. Nice. There oh. we go. There we go. That's a good fish. Dancing. Hell yeah, Monset dude. Elf. You're, Dancing. dude. Monset. Bro, that was the coolest Dude, that was ever. so sick, dude. That was the coolest one we had. Just bring so him up here. Freaking, dude. Oh, nice dude. snake, dude. Here we go. Nice, uh, second snake of the day. 4.2. Sight fish him. That was so cool. Nice it's a gorgeous snake. 4.2 on the dot. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. Hey, dude. He's gonna That's give sick. us a shower. I have like a really, yeah, I have a feeling he's gonna take off. Oh God, and there he goes. Took off like a rocket. Dude, that was so dope, dude. That was sick. All right, you guys, so the next bait we're gonna try out that snakehead seemed to really like the chatter bait right here. Right here we just have a Z-Man with a heavy duty hook on there and a big uh, gambler, big easy. Just to increase size of the profile a little bit. Guys, I got a giant snake on the chatterbait. Oh my God, it's huge. Okay, oh my God. Holy shit. Oh my God. Dude, my heart's beating so fast. On the chatterbait. Oh my God, guys. This thing's huge. Dude, he hammered it. Dude, just, just, just grab him by the head. Grab him by the head. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah! That's a giant. Six, seven pounder. Six, seven pounder. Six, seven pounder. Oh my god. Yo, on the chatterbait, guys. On the chatterbait. It was a little windy. Switched it up. There was a freaking giant snake right there. Shit! That is a giant. Here, dude. Grab this GoPro. Brandon's PB snake hit about six, seven pounder. Five, six, seven pounds. Slim though. On the chatterbait, dude. dude. Giant. That thing, that, that's huge. Probably seven. Look at that head, dude. Alright, guys. We're gonna let this guy go. Oh my god. Giant snake. Oh my god! Alright, you guys. Pretty much what just happened. I just caught my PB snakehead on this freaking chatter bait, guys. This thing is demolished. So what there is, guys, right here is there's a pipe. Anytime you come to a lake that has snakeheads, or even if you don't know there's snakeheads, always make sure you step back and give a lot of room to be able to cast at these pipes, guys. Because what happens is that the snakeheads, first of all, they'll sit in here for cover. They'll use them to spawn for shelter. They'll also use them to hide away from the sun because the water under the pipe is cooler because there's a lot of shade in there. You can see, I don't know, I hope you guys can see, there's a pipe right here. It just barely comes out of the ground. And there's a nice big divot in the, in the bank right here. And he was just posted up right there. He saw this freaking chatterbait come right by his face vibrating with a big gambler on it. And he just smoked it, guys. He just absolutely inhaled it. Big one! Look at the other one! There's a second one! Look at the follower! Where, where, where? Right under him! Right under him! Oh fuck, where'd he go? Oh my god, I lost him. There was a second one, dude. There was a second one, there's a second one. Dude, that's like a five, six pounder. Dude, is my GoPro recording? My pants are coming off. Yeah. Dude! Oh, he's death rolling. No, it's okay, I got him, I got him, no problem, dude. You're good. Holy shit. Dude, dude, there was a fall where like the same size. I'm not even kidding. That shit is right behind this fish, Chris. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, slamming him, bro. Look at that. On the chatterbait, guys. I'm telling you, this thing is when it's really sunny out, guys, use a chatterbait. If it's super sunny, super freaking super blue skies, throw this because the snakeheads are probably down deep. Look at that. Just a chunk, dude. They're so healthy, dude. That? Yeah, these fish are so strong. Literally unbelievable how strong these guys are. All right, there we go. Tank, bullseye, snakehead, probably about a five pounder. There he goes. Gorgeous snake. Woo! I got to just to explain to you what I'm doing. I have about, I have a Z-Man chatterbait on there with like an extra strong stainless steel hook right there. And I have, I think it's a five inch Gambler Big Easy on there. And pretty much what I'm doing. And I also I have 50 pound at co-fishing braid, log down drag. What I'm doing is casting out, hitting the water, letting it go all the way to the bottom, and then literally just cranking this thing in. Just crank, crank, crank. And if you guys get that by, you'll know. It literally feels like a snook thump. It's, they eat it so hard. The reason for using the heavy braid is because what these things do is, first of all, they have teeth. So if you're using too light a braid or too light a leader, they'll just cut your line. We actually had that happen earlier. Literally, there we go. Literally, right as I'm explaining, hooked up. Dude, that's so cool. That's a snake. Yeah, it is. 
Oh yeah! Look at that dude! Oh he's beautiful! Dude, right as I'm freaking explaining guys. <laughs> dude, guys, as soon as that thing hit the water, I think I got that strike on GoPro maybe. Look at that, guys, on the frog. Yo! Oh he's beautiful dude. Dude! I'm literally trying to explain, so that happens all the time, I'm not even kidding. I'll be, I'm literally trying to explain what we're doing today to catch these fish. And I'm just about to be like, oh, we're using these because, you know, they're down deeper. And right as I say that, he freaking hooks up on the frog. Yeah, right there, right there. Oh, what did I tell you? <laughs> that hurts, yeah. right? It's just pressured. It, yeah. yeah oh. oh, what? And okay, he found a hole. <laughs> Dude, that was <laughs> trying to be crazy. <laughs> all right, you guys, Chris finally got his snake. He hasn't gotten one all day. And he finally just got one, guys. He destroyed it. The white chatter. Oh, yeah, dude, that's sick. PB. No, that's definitely your PB, dude. The one you caught first was super tiny. Oh, my. oh you. He was pissed off. Dude. Okay, let's get it, bro. Dude, okay. you got one, dude. All right, you guys got a freaking tank bass, dude. Dude. Dude, dude look at that bass. Oh, my. Dude. Hell yeah. Dude, look at that. Dude, that's a four pounder. That's literally a four pounder, dude. That thing's so heavy. Oh, look at that. Big old freaking bucket mouth bass, baby. Woo! That's a good bycatch right there. Snapped off. He said the hook way too hard, dude. Oh, he's still there. Hold on. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. If you can get that chatter bait. Oh my god. There was a big, there was a not, a, not a big, a decent snake right there. We just messed it up. That's all. How'd you guys got another, a little, I don't know, half pound or a pound bass. Just ate the chatterbait. Thought it was his snake head. Oh God. On the lizard trailer. I have no more gamblers, so. Zoom lizard. Got him. They're loving the chatterbait today. Nice little fish.